Hello, welcome to the lesson. This is one of the interesting works that I've created. In this lesson, we will look at the stages of creating this work. This is the technical task that I received for the project. In this lesson, we will look at creating the first shot. You do not need to repeat what's happening on the screen, just watch what's happening. Let's prepare the destruction module. It's a simple box. Node RBD material fracture. This node destroys our object. Let's spread some shards. Let's create a fraction that will destroy the objects along the path of action of the bound box. This node forms a connection like a glue for the shards. Let's add force to influence the shards. This module is to calculate the simulation. Let's save our simulation. Let's see the result. To continue, we need a little work with Nukex. Let's create a sequence for the background of the camera and camera tracer. For the Houdini scene, a sequence of frames will be required for the camera background and the camera itself will go through the path of the camera in the scene. Record the sequence of frames using the right node. We will use this sequence in Houdini. To get the camera path, we need the following nodes. Node camera tracer, node camera, node scene, and node writes geo. Let's run the tracker. Let's click save. This data will be transferred to the camera. Let's save the path to FBX format for use in Houdini. And let's move to Houdini. Let's import the received data into Houdini. I already imported our camera and path we got in Nuke X. Let's download the pictures of the camera background that we also got in Nuke X. Let's remove the excess animation keys of the camera movement in order not to create excess noise. We will also create a simple glass material. We need to create a zero object for the convenience of working with the camera. We need to render the two nodes for the foreground and for the background rendering plan. Set 1 AOV to create a depth of field we will use for the final scene composition. Choose global illumination settings for lighting. Let's raise the samples value a little, we don't need large values. Choose our camera that we imported earlier. Now when everything is almost ready, we will take care of lighting and composition. Turn on the test object. Upper lighting. Light for the head. Backlight to separate the model from the background. Front light. General light. For the general light that is generated from the walls and the floor, I used an HDR map that is close to the light in the given scene. Let's continue to work with shard modules.
our animation. We will use nodes of transformation and place the fragments of shards in the scene. Time warp modules allow you to set the different time for the duration of playing the animation. Let's place them at different distances to create a depth of scene. The same way as the module of shards, let's create a module with smaller shards. Let's make it the same way but with finer details. Let's see the animation. Let's place them in the scene. Let's connect the given result and look at it. The foreground of our scene is ready. Let's get down to the shards of the background. In structure, it doesn't differ from the foreground, apart from one difference. We create medium-sized shards. Let's place them. Right side of the composition is ready. Left side of the composition will be slightly different as we need to avoid repeating objects. Let's change the settings for the simulation a little bit. Let's add some small shards from the foreground simulation. Let's look at the result. I also placed the shards at different distances from each other. We need this to create an effective depth when we are going to assemble the final scene. For the general composition of shards, we repeat the shape of the body in order to make the picture more pleasant to perceive. Background is ready. Let's put it for render and start with the short assembly. Render result. Now you can start to build the shot. Let's open the file that the client sent. A composing specialist has already worked with it. We can see the work that he did. but we have to do our part of the work. We are interested in whether there is a mask that separates the figure from the background. Here we find it. and we begin to assemble our part of the work. Let's load the background using this mask.
Let's set the camera focus. Now we are making image corrections. Add caustics from the glass to the figure. Now our picture is more interesting. We add the foreground, but this time without the mask. Here we are making image corrections. We save our shot and it's ready to be sent to the client. For our portfolio, we can make color corrections and show the stages of our work. Let's put the stages of our work in a timeline. We will correct the final part by adding a few effects. You can use the optional Magic Bullet Looks module. This is a great module with lots of presets and settings. Let's add color balance and brightness and contrast. Let's save the result.